Hi, my name is Alexey, and today I'm going to introduce you to improved input on expert extension for Magento 2. The extension has been developed and is supported by Firebase Studio. You can think of the extension as an improved version of native Magento input tool. It has been developed in close cooperation with merchants who manage stores with millions of products. If we put these tools next to each other, we will see some of the most prominent features that distinguish improved input and expert extension. Actually, the extension has many uses and features you can see at the flowchart here. If we are to name the most important ones, it comes to automation of input and export jobs with the help of cron scheduler, mapping of any table formats and attribute structures, and support of XML and TXT files. Basically, whatever your supplier works with, you can input it to your Magento store. The full list of the extension features available at the product page. I will be leaving the links in the video description. In addition to the mentioned extension features, the extension comes with free installation and assistance with setting up the extension and consultations on import and export jobs. So now let's move to the extension. In this video, we will first try to create an input job and run it manually from the Magento backend. And second, talk about mapping and we'll try running the input job from the Magento command line. To start with, we navigate to the Magento backend. The extension sections are nested right below native Magento tools. Now let's move to input jobs. The input job screen is represented with the grid where all the input jobs created can be found. The grid features the job title, status, cron settings, frequency, entity type, and input source. You can edit any created input job right from the screen. So you can edit title, adjust the cron job and frequency. Now the export job screen looks pretty much the same. Let's add a new input job. The new input job is represented with four settings section. The general settings are pretty much self-explanatory. We enable the job, we name it new import job number one. We set the frequency either from the predefined values or using the cron scheduler. If you are not familiar with the cron scheduler, you can always refer to the extension user guide. It has all the necessary links for you to master cron. Now let's head to the import settings. We will be importing product store Magenta. We will be adding and updating our catalog. Uh, we will stop on any errors and the error count is set to 10. Now for the separators, as we will be importing products from the CSV file, we can pretty much leave this untouched. If the file structure of your file differs, you may find the use of these settings. Now for the input source, we select CSV and file. So to actually get the file we will be importing the products from, we navigate to Firebear GitHub, where the team keeps all the sample files updated. Now, we need to get uh, products with new attributes. Now, let's download this table. We name it a new table. So, as you can, you can see, I can open the table with the Microsoft Excel. However, it tends to mess up with the CSV file formatting. So instead, I will be using Google Drive and will be opening and editing the file with Google Sheets. In this file, we have two products that have already been imported to the Magento store, and we will be adding the third one. So for the third product, I have, oops, I'm sorry, sometimes it happens with the Google Sheets. So for the third product, I have already created a filter in my Magento catalog. As you can see, filter here. So right now I am adding a new product. I need to copy the SKU for it. And 
it will be a new test product new new test sq one so once we have edited our csv file we download it and we upload to a newly created import job now we need to validate the file <coughs> i'm sorry the file has been validated successfully and we just have to hit save and run button and run button again now in the console you can see the progress of the product input and one row has been imported now we head to the product catalog and refresh the page to see if the product appeared and we can see new test product has been created now for the attribute mapping and running import jobs from the Magento command line. I already have a new import job created for it, so let me just get to it. Now, attribute mapping is what defines the extension. What mapping does, it lets you map the attribute structure of any imported file to correspond with product attributes you have in your Magento. So, I have this very CSV file where we have price adjustment attribute and quantity shipped attribute. These two attributes are new to Magento. However, price adjustment corresponds with the price attribute and quantity shipped corresponds with the quantity attribute. Now, in this very import job, I can map these attributes from this test map in CSV. Now let's do this once again. I am selecting the uh, price attribute I have in my Magento store and select the attribute from the CSV file. We need to select price adjustment. I select quantity attribute I have in my Magento store and we need to select quantity shipped. Now everything's ready. So for this input job, consider this. I have a supplier who doesn't care much about how I want any product updates inputted. And we share the same Dropbox account. Now, where he uploads the delivery notes and CSV on every Monday. The CSV contains total product quantity and price changes. So what this job does is it fetches the product price and quantity updates on every Monday at 3 a.m. automatically. The supplier only needs to change the information in the delivery note when necessary. That's all. That's how you automate the product update process. Right. So let's run this job manually via Magento CLI to see if the supplier has updated any product data. Uh, as you can see, I have already created uh, a new filter for the products that we will be updating now. I advise you to look for the price and for the quantity if the supplier has any updates for these two attributes. Now let's actually run the input job we need to run the input job with id 17 let's hit enter now we have updated four rows and it is time to reload our product catalog page And as you can see, the supplier has adjusted the prices for all four products. Now, we have updated all 
four products by using the Magento command line and running the input job we have created in the Magento backend. So, I hope this introduction to improved input and export extension has been useful to you. And I would like to remind you that the extension comes with free installation and consultation services on import and export jobs. So if you are new to the extension or Magento, I advise you to take advantage of this offer. Now, thank you for your time. I will be seeing you soon.